And also roommates as well. Roommates as well, so this should be interesting how to go about it. Sheik versus Dark Pit. I mean... I feel like Kira Fax is like, damn, I'm, re I'm really playing Sean right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how you feel about it. Yeah, two folks. Honestly, I've always loved these two in terms of personality because it's just it's yeah. a treat to watch. It's, it's a treat to watch. But I mean, with Kira get yeah, but I don't think he'll rage as much versus his own buddy, right? Just stuff by the bouncy fool. Okay. Sheik, another fun character I really love to watch. It's good to see all the Sheik mains trying to play her again. As far as a treat. Here we go, got the ledge. Ledge gargling, that's one of the things that she excels on with that side. Ledge trapping is just, that's, that's one of K9's favorite things. He's a character that, that he enjoys ledge trapping you with, you know? Yeah. And I wonder if he started with the dark pit because of the stage? Yeah, that could be a possibility. Also, Ooh. I mean, the difference, the difference pretty much between pit and dark pit is honestly more in the upper dash arm. Okay. And of course the arrows. The arrows are much easier to control for pain than they are for dark pit. But that was an F smash, but no, we don't see it. Good stuff, still somewhat of an even game. It looks like he's getting knocked out of her kill. Well, he still has like uh, up tilt, up smash. No, he still has up tilt, up air, DI mix up. Still has like a Nair and a bouncy fish in him. So you might want to land those. So usually combo oriented characters like Sheik, like once you're around out of like their kill range, it's actually harder for them to land that KO move. Yeah. 103 to 142 here, K9, still three stocks alongside Kira. Kira looking to make sure K9 has a difficult time landing. F2. I like to even space himself out to see what K9 was gonna land, but unfortunately the down throw to up air will take the stock here. Yeah, it was and they, and they buffed her tipper on their down throw as well too. So it makes that conversion a lot more consistent to hit. Yeah, blow for blow here. Six yeah. minutes on the clock. Yeah, this yeah, this game I'll say this match will go down to three minutes. I, I guess this match right now three minutes. Both these guys play each other all the time. They want to don't make it far. It can be a very neutral oriented set, I feel. Yeah. And honestly K9 didn't have a really good time this weekend. He did take a loss to uh to Jerry from Latin Hero, aka Chuck Uh oh, wow. He did actually, yeah, he lost to him. A bit of an upset that happened over this past weekend at Time to Fall. And yeah. of course, Kira Flex actually lost to BSI guy, also at Time to Fall. But do you know, I feel, I feel like Emma Sim is K9's special power up, you know? Because, yeah. like, because he did, I mean, he did okay at Congo Saga, but then he comes back to the next Emma Sim and he beats T, the yeah. uh, Link. You know, he does really, I don't know what it is, like, Emma Sim is like his. Uh, he has very good highs, but unfortunately, that's the one thing I feel like he has is very bad lows. Yeah, but that's uh, that's like a cool competitive aspect of the yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you still cannot sleep on him, you know? Almost like, definitely, you cannot. You cannot sleep. And same thing with Kiraflex. Kira, so like, I feel Kiraflex is a really good player that would feel people sleep on that you shouldn't be sleeping on, you know? Yeah. Because like his. his I still don't know what his best character is. It's Pit or Rob. It's like depending on what mood he's in, those characters go like, damn, you know? Yeah, I, I still feel like the W's that he's been having over the past year is his Rob. So I feel like the Rob is definitely outmatches the, the two. No, but also like in a lot of the games, sometimes they're like, there is a time where his Pit wins him a game to give his Rob the confidence, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then he ends up taking it with Rob. Because then like, it's good he plays those characters because then people will ban a stage that they think is not good for him, so takes advantage of that. And he's been meeting Pin and Rob since way ever. back in the Brawl yeah. days, man. Poor Kira, man. Zero did really calm this man with the Meta Knight up special back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like for some reason this matchup is still even because like, even though Pit hits harder than her, he still has a hard time killing. Like, yeah. it's free. And then Sheik's pretty slippery, so she's not going to let him get anything for free. And look at the way the canine plays, too. He knows he's got Kira at 135. He wants yeah. to come confirm. But okay, Kira I, also understands, you know what? I don't want to go in that much. I know I said three minutes. This match might go down to a minute, bro. <laughs> I would have put a pass in it. <laughs> 147. I like it. He immediately sees the aerial, comes back yeah. to the stage. Another Nair. And for Kira, too, he's making sure that he's covering a lot of options using these aerials. Yeah. But he's also still got a month of time that, you know what? There are options that Kira understands. Okay. If he's going for an aerial, this gives me time to go for this kind of recovery. Yeah, I know down, another down to up there might do it right now. 
Our star spot near the bounce. Oh, good for probably bad DI coming on from Pure Flex there. Oh yeah, yeah, because she sent himself yeah. up for Guardian Artifacts. So this is a good percent for Sheik right now because she can rack up damage and control the stage right now. Okay, oh, close. Cool. Good Still gets the armor to be able to go through even after the floor there. Good stuff by K9 right now. He's racking up the damage and keeping his percent low. Ooh. There we go right here. This is it. Money time. Needle bouncy fish. Oh, good oh, trunk. No ledge Ooh, trunk here. It. Back throw. That was a cool ledge trunk. I don't think he was in the kill percent to get it off of it. I think he could have just stayed on the stage and got some more ledge trapping. Ooh, good oh, that wasn't it. Can I bring this all the way back? Good down, good call out down to the up smash from Kier. Do you think if Kier would have tech that, that wouldn't have been possible, right? Ah, uh, you know what? The way that Kier are. Because the way he got hit by the ledge, he like didn't tech and was able to like bounce. Yeah, and it popped was, out. Yeah. But the also thing is he went for an electroshock arm. Yeah. Which allowed the inlag from that is pretty significant. So it's also like the fact that I think that K9 hit him before he even grabbed yeah, the line. That was really good because like when I played Sheik, I hardly ever hit that. And the way K9 hit in that <laughs> clutch moment, I was like, oh, I'm for sure. Like it feels like when I go for stuff, they would have air dodge out of it. But it seems yeah, like yeah. when other people do it, it seems to work for them. But that was a really good reaction time from K9. Down to up smash by the ledge, two confirmed. I mean, he, he still wants to have faith in the character, yeah. right? A he, full year in. He brought that all the way back, too. Like, he caught him with the forwarder and the second stock, then he brought it all the way back with the down to up smash. So really good stuff by Kiriflex. No, I'm sorry, K9. But Kiriflex was playing very well, too. Oh, well. This is like nobody wants to die. <laughs> they're coming from Cowboys. Nobody wants to die, huh? <laughs> This time, Kira Flex once again at the ledge. Has the control here. Gets down throw in there, but he misses the grab at the platform. Really good opportunity to make sure that one thing that Kira Flex has been consistently doing is guarding the edge with neutral airs. But like I mentioned earlier, that's going to give Kira the opportunity to understand, okay, he's going for Nair at the ledge. Yeah. Yeah. I, just, I, I have other options then if he's just going to be going for that one play. Yeah, this is... I mean, this, I think with Pit and Sheik, you'll see them do all the cool stuff at low percent. They'll get you all the up there, then have a hard time killing. Yeah. But I think they need to, like, land their kill. Like, I feel Sheik has to land that Needle's Bouncy Fish, Nair Bouncy Fish on, like, 110. To kill more confidence. Yeah, there's that sweet spot percent yeah. that you can get in your opponent. Yeah, you can get, like, yeah, Sheik can kill real early if you get the sweet spot of your combo, you know, when you get your nice conversion down. Last set of Nair puts Kanan off the stage here, 55 to 102, three stocks each. Ooh, I nice like the fact match. that he covered the, the get-up option here and another opportunity to come like Kanan land. I mentioned it, even though Kerafox has been repeating the yeah, options, sir. game two here, he's changed up the battle plan. What's Kid's fastest match attack? Forward smash or down? What's his fastest match attack? Uh, yeah. down smash. Down smash. Oh no, 165. Shallows, he will live a little bit longer. Does he get. Oh, good jab. I like that. I really like that. Well, I never thought about that. Because his jabs did join, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. That's really cool. He's kind of like, he's kind of like a. Kind of like Bowser Jr. Well, it's not as good as Bowser Jr., but it's really good to throw out his joint and rapid jabs by the ledge to catch people's eyes. Yeah. Nice. He's on the platform. Good pressure with back air. He's got hit at 136 now. Oh, to nice. Off like the stage. Oh, the really good bouncy first by K9. See him leaning out there a little bit too long. Netting the kill. Oh. You think that was Porter or Pivot F or something? I don't know what it was, but he's nice. actually done right now. Oh. No, he's good. He's good. He's good. Oh. oh. Good down. Oh, good there. Uh, I don't know about that one, but... I don't think it would have killed right there. Ooh, good. Oh, nice. Look, well, like, K9's doing really good ledge trapping and racking up a lot of damage off ledge right now. That seems where like he's that seems like where he's uh, racking up all the damage on Kiriflex. Cause it seems like Kiriflex is like getting him in neutral. Like he's catching him with Nair out of shield, dash attacks, grabs. But he's like the second he overcommits and can I get him off ledge, he eats like about a good 30% every time off ledge. Close. Can I want to confirm after the forward air too? Good Another one, see right there. Like K9's beating, he's winning this off the ledge game. 
really good stuff here. Yeah, and that's where K9's really getting a lot of the yeah. victory here, but the way where Kirofax at least gets the victory yeah. here is K9's return to yeah. the stage as well. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. If, oh, wow. Oh, that was okay. bad. Yeah, bad DI by K9. Catch him going upwards. I've seen Kirofax run for these, like, his side beam when K9's like at 80 or 110 center stage. I know the move's strong, but I don't know if it'll kill center stage on a stage like Kalos. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't think it do it either, honestly, because yeah. it's it's that strong, but it works better at the ledges than it would be on the stage. Yeah. But the way that it sends you is more at a 45 degree angle than hits, which okay. is a straight up angle. Go off. So by Careflex, if you can send this into oh. game number three. He was thinking, yeah, he takes really good commanding leads. It seems like K9 just gets him off the ledge and just commits and gets the stock right here. That was one. Nice. Went for the Ooh. same option he saw that the legend Vincent but it was gone. He re the ledge. Maybe that's why he went to Kellos to avoid that down to up smash for him. Yeah. And of course, the platforms on Kellos are a little bit higher than something like Battlefield. Let's see if he can capitalize off this. Get a hard read S match. No. Ooh. Good stuff by Kana with the Nair trade. Ooh, hard read with the Almost killing him there. Gonna have to watch the back. Here. Yeah, he's, this game could be anybody's his game right now. Nice, and he mixed, oh. he mixed up the time in there using he a double yeah. jump. Too bad that Nair didn't chill poke at least. <laughs> and the, I feel like what can I wanted to count for is Kira dropping the shield after the double jump. Oh no. Oh, okay, that was like a kind of forced that Nair. Oh, uh, back hit of Nair. Back hit of Nair, we'll get him. Kira Flex, can take this game since the game number three. Watch the get up option for here for Kira and Kira yeah. looking on the hunt here. Yeah, he knows Kira has a lot of rate. Kira has a lot of rage right now, so. I think his kills uh, is there. Oh, wow. This stuff I can't. Oh. Good re Ooh, that was really nice. The spot dodge. He's going for the drag oh, down there. He, he, he knows he was going to go low, too, especially after the Garden Orbitars. He needs to be careful for that fourth throw. Can I need to get right back in the center stage to avoid the fourth throw? But it didn't. Okay. Ooh. It's I'm oh, sorry, you guys, you guys, yeah, you guys just missed the yeah. pop off. Kills him with the skill throw. Good stuff. It, it, it really do be your own sometimes. Yeah. Really good stuff by Kiraflex, not throwing that game away. <laughs> After K9 was... My man legitimately, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> he was yeah, fishing for that one, yeah. He I'm had to, he had to, bro. Do you know how hard he has to land? He has to catch a, a moving sheet. You know what I'm saying? He has to rack up almost 200 damage to get his skill throw going. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> About 200%. Okay, goes Wolf. Hmm. I don't know what made him not. Three, two, one, go! Go, whoop. Looks like he baited him into the FD pick, huh? Yeah. I feel like that's where K9 pretty much accelerates. I mean, at this point, he's going to just drop the sheet. Yeah. You know, put his money where his mouth is. He knows. You know what? One of us is going to move up in, in this bracket. And if my wolf is going to do the work here. They both counter pick a lot, though. So I don't know if, like, K9 was trying to, uh, trying to avoid the, you know? Yeah. I feel like what he wanted to do was make sure that, you know, if it comes down to it, if it is Final Destination, his wolf is going to be much better in play. But I mentioned it earlier, if you guys recall the start of the stream, the one thing that the spaces are very much is a glass cannon, and they have a very good recovery plan. What's Wolf's jab lock combo? I'm sorry? What's, what's Wolf's jab lock combo? Does he, is it like jab down smash or jab F smash? You know, I'm not, I'm not too familiar. I haven't really seen it. It's usually like if he jab locks you, Ooh, it's usually jab, down jab, down, down smash. Rarely I'll see F smash. That death strike looks like it never can, it shouldn't be connecting, but it hits wherever you want to hit at. Oh, here goes. So can I get the dare spike on him again? It looks like that's what he's fishing oh, for. Oh, I like it too. And he goes for the upper after arm, getting the armor. Forward throw. Two stocks each. K9 pretty much one of the back air. Yeah. But I like the way how he spaced himself for the forwards match in that situation. Because you oh, know, Spearflax might have been coming in hot with an area. Oh, good stuff by Kira. Oh, damn, their death strike. The money maker is working on for K9 right now. He's get the F tilt. Out of shield oh, option. Oh, look grab. at the ledge trapping by K9 right now. This is like Kirflex just needs to try to stay off the ledge as much as possible. And that's ooh, good F. Oh uh, yeah. Uh oh, this is uh, these guys are going back and forth. This is like one of their more faster paced games than before. 
I mean, it's, it's the way that, you know, Wolf plays the Chicken Sheik, right? Yeah. Sheik is very much death by a thousand cuts, but Wolf oh, makes sure that each cut he deals Pure, is extra damage. Yeah. Pure Flax is on something right now, and he's like, he's going off after that pop ball, he's racking up all the right amount of damage versus K9. It was Cannon leading the charge earlier, but that one opportunity yeah. off the stage Wait, he's here. Wolf, so he can still do it, though. Like, if he gets this stock right now, I feel Cannon can still bring this back. Yeah. But he has to take the stock first. Waiting for the landing here on Kira. Look at Kira playing the way he wants to play. The patient. Oh, dash attack. The second stock taken by dash attack. Here we go now. Oh, oh he read the landing here on the down smash. Landing, but he needs to be careful. He's a perfect distance for Wolf to get along the string going. All right, here we go. Back against the wall. She can also needs to watch nice. out for a, call, a random side beat. I think Not only that, it's the way that Cole, watch yourself here. Another, another downer won't do it just yet. There you go. Oh. There you go. Oh, yeah. oh, I like, I like that. The oh, he didn't force anything. Oh, good stuff. I can't even think he had too much rage for that upper to connect, though. I'm very unfortunate. I want. I wish he would have opted for the fourth, though, to just go back to the ledge trapping, because that's what he's been doing very well all game. Oh, that was false, but no grab, and no side B either from Kira. Good stuff by Kena. He has him below him, but he's going to land him for the down air. The arrow, the F tilt. Kena needs to be very careful right now with his options. Fourth throw, that's not going to do no, it just yet. No, it's not going to do it just yet. 170, oh no, but that might have been oh, it for K9. Geez. And oh. Kira fights with two Dude. arrow shots oh, to make it in oh, to winner semi. Well, that's probably why he plays, uh, that's probably why he plays Dark Pit, right? I'm guessing for that. Yeah, the arrow has a little bit more knockback than Pit's arrow, but also it's really difficult to control as well. But it's like a solid, yeah. solid hit when he does hit. Yeah. Good stuff by Kira Flax. 